This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Today I got my friend Alex here today, and he is going to be going over his fourth place sword soul deck. Yes, sir. Uh, from locals. Yes, sir. All right, sir, you can go ahead and begin whenever you are ready. All right, how's it going, guys? So I got top four with sword soul. I'm just going to go through the original package with you guys. The sword soul monsters. Got the classic three. Uh, Mo Ye, three. Long one. And you got the two. Taya. Those are, Taya. I feel like that's just, you know, the normal ratios everyone plays can't really be replaced. Um, it's kind of just set in stone at this point. Some yeah, people. It's a, a pretty much like standard, like, yeah. like standard lineup, right? I've seen Taya at one or at three, but these are always at six. And I don't know. I, I like Taya a lot, so I just keep them at two as well. And then basically, Sorcel, Sorcel um, Ecclesia. She is like an honorary Sorcel. She is uh, Sorcel in name. Or, exactly. Or, sorry, in effect, in effect, right? Exactly, yep. Action. Special summon. Um, becomes Mo Ye or Taya by Santa for the Graveyard. Gotcha. Um, pretty broke, pretty standard as well. And then now I'm going to go through my Tenyi lineup. Got the Tenyi's in here. So Sword, 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 Sword Soul Tenyi, right? Exactly. Right, so what we got, so I got the three here. Let me bring it down here. Three Ashuna. All right. Three Vishuda. And then I do three Adhara. And then the one Blue Boy, um, Shatana. So three, three, and the one. Exactly. Uh, it's just um, I notice when I lower the ratios, I won't have a um, pitch for long one, or mm -hmm. I also run heavenly sphere, so it just kind of helps with the whole okay um, cycling of them. If I even, I mean, there's just so many ways to get a level eight out, keep going, and Shadana's just a good tech for um. I always forget um, breaking boards. What does this one do? I always forget what, what its effect is. This one, if you have Monk of the Tenyi, um, and it gets popped or destroyed, you can you know you can uh, banish this card and then special summon the monk and then pop a card on the field. It's just um, good for breaking boards. If okay. if a face up non effect monster you control is destroyed by battle card effect, um, I can banish this, reborn the Monk of the Tenyi, and then pop any cards. So okay, so that's pretty. Good. It's just a good um, it's just a route to go into. Okay. So to it, the going second route. Yeah, it comes up a good amount. And also, it's a level four, too, if you need a special summon it or normal summon it to keep going. That's true. Um, okay. Let me put these guys away. All right. So, so that, just, that was a tangy package? Yeah, just classic. Um, pretty standard. And then here's my hand traps. Um, okay. It's not the biggest hand trap lineup. Um, when I side, I'll go accordingly. And I'll show you guys my side in a bit, too. Okay. So right now, I just have three Ash and then three Imperm. Um Honestly, I was considering doing three um, dimensional shifter, um, dimension shifter, but Ooh, I have it in my side though. right now. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. In my side, it's a game changer. It's so good that I'm thinking about maining it. I have seen some people main it as well. Um, it depends what you want to play. I, I like these guys as standard. Wh whatever I'm playing against, it kind of hits everything. Um, and then here, let me put these away. So just three ash, three imperm, and then I side pretty heavenly. Or pretty, uh, I believe I side pretty, uh, <laughs> I side a good amount, you know, in my matchups. So, and then for the spells, I have two, um, tactics and then one call by. That's I the, feel like the god card right here. Yeah. Yo, this card, this card, if you get drolled, ash, anything, also, um, just targeting opponents, monsters in the grave, it's just so helpful. And you know, if you normal summon Moya, they failure it. All right, at least you can keep going. If you don't yeah, have any extenders, that, yeah, that protects you so yeah. much. Yeah, there's a reason why it's at one. Um, and then you know, tactics. Honestly, I love stealing cards from people's hands. So I love tactics too. Like, yeah, like, me personally, I find like if I get hand trapped or whatever, I like to look at in the opponent's hands to see what they have, and that just kind of helps me play through. On the exactly. Lines. So, um, exactly. Yeah. So. Have you ever drawn two with this card though? I'll draw two if um if I don't have any plays. Like if they mm -hmm. um they Valor my Moye, I don't have an extender. I will um draw two and hopefully I draw into Urbergence um mm -hmm. or Pi Desires. Pi Desires too. Wow. Um to get a long one to keep going or get you know getting tenure to keep going. It just depends. But um let me take these out the way. So But with this like lineup here, like your deck is pretty consistent because you have the three Ecclesia, three Moye. Three emergence, three pot, three t or two talents. I feel like you're probably gonna get to your pieces as as fast as you can. Exactly, just for consistency's sake. And I'm trying to um finish the duel as quickly as possible. I'm just doing I'm doing three pot desires. I, it's 
it's okay if I mill my blackout, mill whatever. Um, I just like the it's part of greed, and I don't it's need. Part of greed. <laughs> I don't need just banish anything. I don't you know give me two cards. It's fine. Let's yeah. end this. Let's end this now. <laughs> let's end it now. <laughs> and then this is your um you know basically your emergency call, of um sword soul. Um, and then I have two heavenly dragon circle. I said a heavenly sphere earlier, but it's heavenly dragon circle. Okay. <laughs> uh, heavenly sphere is um <laughs> sphere mode, isn't it? No. No heavenly uh. Heavenly is in that that hand trap or whatever. That, I think uh, so. The heavenly, but whatever? yeah, heavenly dragon circle. Okay. I always just say heavenly because okay. it's just heavenly when it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavenly when it comes um, up. And you get imperm or something. You you know activate this. You get rid of the moye and you get to still get the token. Um, I like it. It's pretty fire. Okay. Yeah, and then just because I run three pie desires, um, oh, I love having emergence. Two. Okay. Yeah. So this is all forty cards. Um, I love having two blackout just because I can discard it with long one and still have another one in my deck. I can pot desires and hopefully I'll still have one in my deck. Um, it just comes up and also, I mean, setting two is not bad. I can do it on their turn and then on my turn as well. Um, so you have yeah. the three, the, the three imperm plus the two blackout. So yeah, so five. What's tries. crazy is that I think one is standard. So if mm. your opponent um doesn't think you have another one. And, I mean, that can kind of come up and surprise them, I think. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I, I don't really see too often, but I like it. Um, I just want to see it. If I see it, then I can just search for something else. Um, Before you continue, I, what were your matchups, if you remember? I played Horus. Horus, okay. I played Horus twice. I beat Horus um, once, lost to Horus. I went 3-1. 3-1. Three, one. Three, one. So, uh, beat Horus, lost to Horus, beat uh, Voiceless, um, and then, and then beat... Right? Fire King, yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. All so right. th this deck does get it in. And then, just for my tokens, I love Karibo. I have three of the Karibo tokens. This is just for my tokens. If this is if I'm going to locals. If I'm just playing with, you know, some buddies and I'm, I'm using my uh, proxy social tokens. Wow, uh, shout out to Brandon cool. Lorian. All right. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for the shout out. Yeah. So, <laughs> so these, you know, these are fun, but they're not legal. Um, you know. Le you know, for legal reasons, I have these. Yeah, yeah, for, I love Karibo, so. For the tournaments, okay. Yeah, so those are my tokens, and I, I go back and forth with Dark Magician and Blue Eyes. Hey, uh, oh, okay. But just in case, and then I also have it's my... Yugi Boomer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have a bro I have other fun um, field centers, but just, just for, like, regionals and YCS sake, uh, you know, got to have some legal ones. And then, all right, here are my... This is my extra deck. So, let's go... My level eights. I have chi two Chicha. This is standard two Boxia standard. I see some people running three. Three Boxia. I rarely needed three, um, so I'm just doing two two, and then, of course, um, mm -hmm. Berserker, and then Drag Okay. These are pretty standard. It's fun. Um, I feel like my, my side deck is where I think where Soul Soul shines because it's so easily to. Um, Edit your hand trap ratios, take out a blackout, throw other hand traps in, and kind of break people's board and go from there. Right. Um, here are my level 10s. Okay. Standard. Um, I always butcher their names. <laughs> Ki Sing Long One. Chen Ying. I always confuse their names sometimes. I know, dude, like <laughs> <laughs> and then Baron. Baron. Yeah. yeah, don't mess that one up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Baron should be easy to say. This has came oh, up so many times. This is pretty spicy. I don't think a lot of uh, um, a lot of uh, sorcerer players are playing the uh, it's like uh the, Punisher. yeah the pep. Yeah, okay. I honestly, I'll probably never cut him. Um, he's came up a good amount of times at different locals. I think at this locals, I think I beat Voiceless by What's um, that? Game Punisher. Yeah, I mean yeah, he's pretty sick. He's unaffected by activated effects. I, I mean that does come up. Yeah, it's pretty hard to remove that. Yeah, and then let me go into my XCs. I just run. One Typhon, he could be Typhon. cut for a Yazi if you like Yazi. Um, honestly, I've never he's never won me duels, but he's helped make a play, which it comes up. But honestly, if I'm already if I'm already having to go into him, I feel like I'm already losing. Yeah. So he could be cut. He could be cut for SP. Um, Sounds like the flex spot, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you have SP, cut him. Okay. And then I run three Monk. Just because I love Shatana, um, Monk just helps me break boards, helps me just get dump tennies in the graveyard, and I run a high tenny package, so I feel like three Monk is the way to go, and then one Shaman. 
Shaman. If you're not running Shaman, what are you doing? <laughs> so these are uh, set so, for me. So if you're running 10 you definitely need this ratio here, the three and the one. Yeah, if you're running um, a high 10 count, I say three, one. And then, yeah, so Typhon can be cut. Okay. And let me quickly go through my extra deck, sorry. All right, so that was the extra deck. We're going to go actually go through the side now really quick. Yeah. Let me start with the banger. I side this in almost every single game. If you're playing Fire King, what? throw it in. This is so, like basically pass against Fire King, pass against Voiceless. So you're playing this to counter fire. Yeah. Essentially. This okay. will affect your 10 in the grave, but like honestly, you do this during their turn, you do this during, during your turn, and you make Chi Shao Baron, you know, whoever, however, and yeah, they just pass. Do your thing. I mean, this also going. helps too against um if you have the um the level ten the one that um on that banishes stuff. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. exactly. It and it's pretty um, big from all the banished. Yeah, exactly. So it makes them um, changing pretty big. Yeah. And then just remember, like, if you do Moye and get the token and you link or use synchro, you can't draw because Moye isn't being sent to the graveyard. Okay. So there's a couple things that limits, but not not many. Um, you don't get the burn with long one because long one gets banished instead. But I mean, it's at long term, like, it just you're makes stopping them, pass. them. Yeah. Yeah. There's another, like, no card. Um, okay. Yeah. You got to have that too. Any deck that draws a lot, searches a lot, it's like, nope. So you... And then I got the three Nibiru. Okay. So these are like the three Holy Grail hand traps that you have that you pretty much side in when you know a deck would get crippled by this. Yeah. So Nibiru actually affects Fire King too. And any combo deck. If they're playing Calamities, anything, all right, just yeah. throw the Nibiru in there. <laughs> it's just a reset button. Right. I like it. And also helps me with the 10 E's because I'll have, or, my bad, if they Nibiru me, it's decent, but um, yeah. I, I like it. I like it. Okay. All right, let me, uh, oh, let me move these bad boys out the way. Pretty so those line, are my, though. yeah, those are my monsters. And then, got to have these for um, Labyrinth. Yeah, for back row removals. Okay. Yeah. Um, flow, Labyrinth, um, Staples, and then... This guy's going also... for straight blowouts. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, I just feel like I wanted not to be complicated. Right. So, like, Nave is a blowout. Reset, light, light stop light drawing, um, no graveyard for you. Um, just get rid of your back row. Yeah. If you created um, a lot of monsters, attack mode, then just you know do the attack. It's just a um, blowout card, just kind of stopping, simplifying the game state. Yeah, because cause once Sorcel is trying to come back to simplify game state, I think Sorcel has the advantage because you can put up a lot of synchros, you can uh, summon Baxia, bounce stuff, and then you just go for game. Yeah, exactly. Well, all right. So so this is your um, your Sorcel deck. Top four Sorcel deck profile. Top four. Alex, thank you so much for showing off this deck. It's pretty spicy. It's um, I would say it's a pretty tier two deck um, um, compared to what's out right now, but it can still do damage. Exactly. I would say it's the Captain Falcon of uh of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, it's a <laughs> smash reference. It'll get okay. you some wins. It'll get you some wins. It ain't the best deck, but um, it'll hold it down. It'll hold it down for sure. All right, brother. Thank you so much for giving me this um um this profile. And uh, this is Brandon Lawrence signing out. And remember, this is the way. Thanks, Brandon.